All right, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple painting with two pyramids and a planet, all done in orange. And this is a great painting for beginners. You can do this in airbrush or spray paint art. I'm going to demonstrate it here done with an airbrush and regular acrylic paint, but it's the same thing with spray paint art. All right, so I'm starting out by applying some colors, going light to dark. I'm starting out with some white, and then on top of that, I'm gonna put some yellow, and then on top of that, I'm gonna add a couple of different orange colors. I've got a light orange and a dark orange. So I'll add a little bit of that. And I'm making sure that I keep my darker colors towards the bottom of the planet so that the top half of my planet is brighter than the bottom half. And I'm also applying my colors all over the area where my pyramids and some land is gonna go. So this is a, a slightly darker orange at the base of the planet and a little bit here and there where the pyramids and land goes. All right, so on top of our orange colors, we're gonna put a little bit of white to make sure that the top layer has some nice bright areas. And then just crinkle up a piece of newspaper and brush it across the areas where our planet and pyramids is gonna go. Now what I've got here is just a piece of poster board that I've torn up. It's got some nice uh, 90 degree edges and I laid them down where my pyramids go and a plate with a little bit of duct tape on top. That's my planet and I laid that on top of my pyramids. It's going to go behind the pyramid. And I'm putting just some caps or whatever on that paper to make sure it doesn't blow away as I'm spraying around it. Now I'm adding a little bit of dark color in the sky. I'm avoiding the land underneath because with the airbrush paint, it dries a little bit faster. So I wanna leave that just clean so that I can then go back and do some land there. But I'm gonna put some light in the sky. And again, I'm going light to dark. Uh, I've got the black and then Inside of that, I'm going gradually down from red to orange to yellow to white. And then I can sp uh, spray a little white on a piece of poster board or a palette knife and just shake it over my painting to create some awesome stars. All right, so all I need to do now to add a little shadow to my planet is to take the plate off and shadow it above the pyramids because the pyramids are going to be in front of that planet. So when I peel them off, they're right in front of that planet. And all I need to do is create a little shadow along the edge and uh, a line going diagonally down the, the pyramid so it looks like a, a 3D pyramid. So I'll create that line just by spraying lightly along the same piece of poster board that I used. Now with the airbrush, as I said, the paint will dry, soak into the paper a little bit. So you wanna add a little bit of extra paint. You don't need to do that with the spray paint to make our land and above a little black. And with the newspaper, just go in there and draw your land. There are a lot of ways of holding the newspaper. If you go to the Spray Paint Art Secrets uh, channel, YouTube channel, you can look up sliding newspaper techniques to see one way to do it. This is another way to do it here. You can add a little bit more color, a little bit more black, and then slide that newspaper around and create some nice land there. And then once you've got your land, go back in with your palette knife and you can draw a few castles if you want. Now remember, I put white down first on this paper with airbrush. The color that you apply first is the color that's gonna really sink into the paper and you can scrape off that paint and reveal that color. If I had put yellow down first, those castles would be yellow. Uh, with spray paint art, it doesn't matter. With airbrush, uh, it matters what color you lay down first. All right, so I'm making a little bit of, of water there. I sprayed down a little bit of blue and a little bit of white on top of it. I'm just brush brushing my finger back and forth to create something that's a little bit of a different color in this painting so it's not all orange and now all i need to do is create a little bit of land to frame that water so i've sprayed a little bit of oranges and yellows along the edges and i put a little bit of black there and i'm just moving that around with my newspaper uh, if this dries you can spray a little water on it or you can spray a little glass cleaner and that'll loosen it up and so i'm just put a little ornament in the sky by spraying through a piece of poster board that i poked a hole in and i got a little star there and there you go, a simple painting, great for beginners. This is a great place to start. It looks really nice. You can show it to your friends and yet it's very simple and easy to do in just a few minutes. So give this a try with airbrush or with spray paint. And to learn more, go to airbrush painting secrets or spraypaintartsecrets.com and you can get some free stuff and free lessons there. Hope you've enjoyed this, ciao.